The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the terrific Tuesday, the October 12th. Yeah, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, I'm sorry, was just lost track of the dates, but it's the October 12th uh, uh, version of uh, today's Trader's Ed show. So welcome to the show. I'm your uh, host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. You can send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, and in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got uh, the markets are mixed out here. You got the Dow's off 60, the S&P's down 8, NASDAQ 100 is off 53, Russell's up 11, Semis are off 52, Tranny's up 87. So we got a real mixed bag out here. Gold's up six bucks, silver down eight cents, Lightspeed crude is flat, natural gas up seven cents. The 30 year Treasury is up over one point, trading out at 158.17. Dollar wise, the upside leading the charge is HubSpot up 89 bucks, 13%. Chipotle, 22 bucks, a little over 1%. Solar Edge up 7.5% or 21 bucks. Upstart Holdings, 18. Mon God B. That's up 3% or 17 buckaroonies. To the downside, it's Google. Lead the charge off 54 bucks. MicroStrategy down 26. Sam Adams Beer down 11. SVB Financial, 11 as well. And DocuSign off 9 buckaroonies. Is this YouTube? Not that I know of. I'm Stevie. I'm not YouTube. Um, I don't know if it should be playing on YouTube out there. But in any event, let's go uh, take a look at these markets and see what are they doing. What are they doing? Let's go uh, to this uh, set of charts out here. Let's just change over real quickly. Um, we're going to take a look at the NQ. The NQ, I believe, is primarily powering this market to the upside and to the downside. So here are some – this is another eight-panel chart. I use this, uh, this ver a version of this chart when I'm uh, trading the NQs because I like to understand what's going on in the different time frames because each of those different time frames can provide us with different information. Is it confusing to me? No, it's not confusing. I can take a look at the daily, for example. And on the daily chart, that's the upper left-hand panel, what do we know about the NQ? Well, first, you don't see it here because I don't have the tool to show the A to B equals CD pattern, but it did form a Gartley buy pattern. It did on this day right here, this day being, I think it was last Friday? Uh, no, why not? Friday, that's the 6th. Whatever the date the 6th was out there. And uh, and that confirmed that pattern. But what price has been unable to do is close above that red oscillator and change line. So we know that that is resistance. When price is below that, we anticipate or expect that price would head south. Head south to where? Well, the next level of support for the daily time frame is going to be the bottom of its profile, 14,470. So that says we're headed south. Then I go take a look at the five-hour chart. Well, what I see is that the bottom, or when it did form a bottom, this was about 15 hours ago or so. Let me tell you exactly when that took place out here. Uh, at 4 o'clock this morning. That's not 15 hours ago, steve -O. That's just at 4 o'clock this morning. Well, at 4 o'clock this morning, the five-hour time frame chart generated a TD9 count. So that's going to be your support level. Now, if, sorry about that. Let me get this back here. If price closes below that level, that level being... 
14, 586.50. That's just going to then move over to the daily time frame and give us the um, additional information that price is likely to target 14, 470. Kind of see how I tried to, or I did put that together between just simply a five hour chart and the daily time frame. Now, as we take a look at the four hour chart, do I have any kind of signals out here? I do have wave number seven. That's letter G. That formed at exactly, let me give you the exact time on this one here. That formed at exactly 6 o'clock this morning. So I know at 4 o'clock this morning, we got a bottom signal. At 6 o'clock, we got a bottom signal. If we take a look at the 120-minute time frame chart, that bottom signal or wave number 7, letter G out here, that's courtesy of Basil Chapman. That came in at 4 o'clock as well. So clearly, the larger time frames, when I say larger from an intraday perspective, 5-hour, 4-hour, then 2-hour, certainly trying to signal to you and I that the it is trying to form a bottom. Now, if those lows get taken out, they provide us with important information. Now we get down to the... Uh, the intraday charts. On the intraday time period, on a 60-minute chart, there's a TD nine-count bottom that formed. That is held. If we take a look at the 30-minute chart, you've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom that formed this morning at 3.30. That is held. Then you had a TD nine-count top. So your real resistance level during the day, we've talked about downside action where price might go to. Let's take a look at some upside action. And in order for to gain that upside action, not that price can't trade higher, but the real upside action would not take place until price closed above that TD nine-count top. And that's at 14783.25. We also know that right now price is trading into a support level. That's its breakout level, 14634.25. So price is pulling back there. What's going on on its shorter term time frames? For example, the 30 or the five minute. On the 30 minute chart, I don't have anything other than coming back to the prior lows out here. But yet on a five minute time frame chart, we're starting to see this had a TD nine count bottom, just as price was coming back to that breakout level on the 30 minute chart out here. So that tells us what, if there's gonna be a rally inside the NQ, we need to watch level about 14,661. Really the level I would say we have to watch is 14,677. That is the center of its bearish structured profile. That should be the real resistance level. But the first one would be where its oscillator and change is, on oscillator on change line is, and the bottom of that profile. So watch the 14,661. Price clears that. Then 14,677. And if price clears that, that probably signals to you and I a move up to the 14,710 level. So what do we summarize here in the NQ? Its bias is to the downside. That is based upon the daily time frame. But when we take a look at each of the other intraday charts out here, we see bottom signals that have formed across the board. So we have to watch to see if those levels of support hold. And if they don't, then that tells us on the daily time frame that its message that price is going to go down and tag the 14,470 level is the likely outcome. So I hope that helps you out with the NQ. Let's go out to Puerto Rico and speak with Phil. Phil, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Do we have Phil on the line? That's great. Do we have Phil. Um, Phil, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can, I can. How are you today? And uh, thanks for calling. Are you in Puerto Rico right now? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Oh, I used to live off of um, Atlantic Avenue. I moved down here a few years back. I lived on Northeast First Court. Oh, wow, off cool. Palm Trail. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. And so what took, you to, what took you to Puerto Rico? Well, the incentives in uh, Florida was getting a little too uh, crowded for me. Okay, all right. And oh, but, uh, uh, now you've been through a couple of storms recently, yes? Well, I actually came down uh, right after the bad one, Maria. Ah, perfect. Hey, so I do came me a favor. Down, uh, uh, Phil, we're, right we're, we're, about to go to a, Phil, we're about to go to a hard break. If you'd be kind enough to hold on, we'll come back, we'll talk, we'll take a look at ADTX for you as well. This is Steve Rhodes with Phil in Puerto Rico. We'll be back in about three minutes, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Phil in uh, Puerto Rico, uh, paradise over there. And so, so you moved. You moved after the big hurricane came through. Yep, uh, about three months after, and it, it was a mess. I mean, there's still some uh, small towns up in the mountains, still no power, no anything. It's a shame. It don't, isn't there a power grid issue that they're dealing with over there? I guess we all are probably around the country, but I, I thought I read an article maybe yesterday or so about some power grid issues that they were having. But it's yeah, not affecting they, it, you. Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a mess. It was just years of crony capitalism and insider pay to play, and uh, this is the remnants of it. They took all the money. They never built anything. They duct taped everything, and now we're paying the consequence. So we'll see what happens next. Duct tape works. You know? Don't you know that? <laughs> yeah, maybe not for the electrical grid, but for most stuff, yes. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So you want to take a look at ADTX. That is Additix Inc. out here, trading at a buck eighty-five right now. Uh, tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you. You know, I've been swinging this for a little over a year. Had some success with it. Okay. Um, just just wanted to see if you see any type of bottoming pattern um, on your uh, technicals. Okay, sure. So let's pull over in the white background charts because that will get really right to it. And do I see some kind of bottoming pattern out here? So when I look at the daily time frame, you know, although I can't draw it in, I am certain that there's probably an A to B equals CD pattern here, but I don't see anything else. What I can share with you, though, as we do take a look at this daily time frame chart, any idea, just by the way, do you, you know, because you follow the stock, what took place yeah. on August 25th? When this thing gapped up to about the uh, 260 area and got all the way up to four dollars, I'm assuming that wasn't a bad tick out there. So do you know what? And then, it, and then it just simply gave up the ghost, like that yeah, was a they, blow off. Sold top. it off. Yeah, that was on news that um, they broke ground on an extension. Of, it's, it's, it's an assay test. Um, okay. So it's a new type of uh, COVID test. It was just news that they uh, broke ground on an extension of their 
manufacturing facility. They can increase increase the output of the test and ship them worldwide, which I believe launches this quarter. Okay. So here's what I can share with you is where's where are the battleground levels for you? Uh, if you know if you're in this position or you're looking to possibly get in it, and that's at a dollar ninety seven. So this had a uh, fairly decent move to the upside. It gave up price on August the I'm sorry on October the fifth. But what it did was it really tested its TD nine breakdown level. So the first level of resistance that you're watching, whether I have a bottom pattern or not, is going to be a dollar ninety seven. If you can get two consecutive closes above that, then that would signal that price should make its way back to the 289 level that's coming off the daily time frame see if there's any kind of a bottoming signal on the weekly chart out here for us and the answer is there is not so what do we have on the weekly i'm going to move off this white background chart take a look at our back black background charts and what we'll see here more clearly is the top of its daily profile that's that's a resistance levels at two dollars so i believe we had like a buck 96 i moved that chart off my screen or so on the uh, daily time right. frame we've got two dollars on the weekly now on the weekly chart here this is a brand new bullish structured weekly profile fill that formed last week Okay. When price closes above the center of that, that would be two dollars. And I don't mean two oh one. I guess what I do mean here, let me give you a figure. If price closes above two nineteen, then what that's signaling to you is that this could move all the way back to three ninety five. That is the top of the weekly profile. And that's really all that I see here. So nothing uh, from a daily or a weekly standpoint uh, with regard to the bottoming signals that I look at. Not every chart is going to bottom with those patterns. There. And that's right. another reason why we take a look at TD9 count breakdown levels. That was the level we took to, a look at on the daily time frame. The weekly profiles or any daily profiles. On it. By the way, price is trading above its daily profile, which is a buck eighty one. But that doesn't get my skirt to float up. Hey, price has got to close right. above that TD9 breakdown level, Phil, in order for this to have some meaning to the upside. Right. Makes sense. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a tremendous methodology you have, and I appreciate your time. Well, thank you, and uh, we appreciate you listening, and uh, enjoy Puerto Rico. Uh, well, Puerto hey, Rico. I wish I could enjoy a lunch at Deck 84 with you, but I'm too far. Well, when <laughs> you come in town next time, you just, you know, you give me a call, and we'll just, we'll walk over I'll, there. You know what? I'll shoot you an email, and we'll meet over there. How's that sound? You, you, you do that. You do that, or we'll walk over to my beach club, and we'll watch the uh, watch the waves come in. Either way. Hey, you, ha you have a great week, Steve. I appreciate it. You too, Phil. Thanks so much for calling. That was Phil in Puerto Rico. Um, let's see here. So uh, we do have a question that has come in. Let me get to that here. We don't want to fall behind. Well, there's a few questions it look like. The first one coming in from um, from Brent in Martinez, California. So Brent says, you're watching MU. Uh, have no position at present. So let me just at least get this fired up out here. And then I can go back and take a look at it. Let me get the uh, chart on our screen, our three-panel screen out here. And uh, so as we take a look at MU, that is Micron Technology. So you've got no, so let's see, you got no position at present. It would be for a long trade. Looks like an A to B equals CD pattern starting to form. Okay, you've given me the dates. Uh, you've got recycling. Da, da, da. Thanks as always. Have a great day. What, uh, any areas you can identify to the downside, TD or TAS levels, that would be helpful. So let's go take a look at that. Let's just try to get right to the guts of it. And Brent, I've got bad news for you. So with regard to TAS market profile levels, we've got none, as Micron technology has blown through all of them. That is the daily bullish structured profile. There was a close below that yesterday. You're going to certainly have a close below that today. You're well below the weekly profiles. You're now below the monthly profiles out here. So now let's go to Stevie's white background chart, see if there's any signals for us on the daily time frame let's get to the daily time frame first well okay so if this oops let's get to the actual current data there we go no nope, that's the weekly hello steve -o. okay so here's the daily let's get this thing populated oh man bad news so yesterday brent was the bar following bar number nine of a TD9 count, but it wasn't really even a valid TD9 count because bar seven was the count. So we don't have anything there. Um, yeah, I'm going to come take a look at the weekly chart. So then the daily, yeah, you would have an A to B equals CD to downside. I'll draw that in when we go to the black background charts. On the weekly chart, you see that rose momentum indicator top. This suggests, Brent, that price might be pulling back to its breakout level of 54.36. You're at 65 and change right now. The monthly chart for Micron, what do we have here? Nothing good. 
Um, and I won't tell you the $26.85 breakout level that it could trade back to because we're really not there just yet. First price is going to have to get through the 54.36 area. So we know there's no good news there. Let's go take a look at some A to B equals CD patterns out here. And where do we want to start? Let me expand out the daily chart. There are so many A to B equals CD patterns that we could draw in here. Let's draw in the original one. And the original one, and this is just taking the chart back to uh, March of last year, the high of April 12, 2021. And Brent, I can't tell because the, the, the writing that comes on in your in your uh, email is, is really small. And Stevie's eyes, I don't have my glasses on. They, they It's really hard for me to, to, to read that. That's not your fault. That's a, that's a Stevie issue. But here's the A to B equals CD that I see out here. And again, that was starting with the high for the A point on April 12th. The B point out here looks like the low on May 19th. About a uh, 46 or 50 percent retracement up into June 1st. And the one to one, and I think this is what you're looking at because price is getting down there, is 64.95. So if this does generate some type of bullish reversal candle, that would be a pattern most certainly to look at. If price doesn't uh, generate that bullish reversal candle, this is telling us about 59.30 as a uh, price target. So I don't see anything just yet inside of Micron Technology, Brent. Thanks so much for writing in. We'll be right back, folks. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. So we're going to take a look at Platinum for Ruby inside the Tiger's Den. And as we take a look at the uh, January 2022 contract, that is the active contract, we can see an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The uh, first price target is 1,056. The second price target would be 1,088. We see that price is trading above the top of its daily profile, has been for the last two days. Looks like today may be the same. So that is a bullish message out here. But why did price stop where it did? Well, we can draw some trend lines out there. If we put the trend lines on there, we can see that. But if we bring over, let me keep those out there anyways, uh, it, because in any event, let's just pull over my other platinum chart, and we'll really see the uh, battleground area for you, Ruby. And that's going to be the TD9 breakdown level, and that's at 102.850. So that is the level that you're looking for price to close above. It tested it yesterday, rejected it, closed, tried it uh, two days ago, rejected it. Doesn't mean you sell because price is above both its oscillator and change line, above the top of its profile. So right now you're in between support, which is 998.90, could be all the way down at 975, but right now it's 998.90, and you've got resistance at 1028.50. So your price closes above that, you're in pretty good shape. Let's go take a look at that shape by looking at the weekly chart out here. Uh, the weekly chart, uh, that's because I've got the January contract. Not a ton of data, but enough data for you to know that price did pull back to a breakout support level of 947.70, held it, and did it with a bullish reversal candle. So that's not too shabby out here. On a short-term basis, with regard to the 30-minute, this forms a TD9 count bottom. It does it at 2,100 hours. This was uh, last evening. Today, the 12th. Yeah, today's the 12th. So it does that last evening. Uh, nothing else out here. 1028.20 is a key level for you to look at. But really, this all boils down to 1028.50 on the daily time frame chart, Ruby. So uh, that's your resistance level. Price can clear that. You should be off to the races. So I hope that helps you out. Thank you so much for the request. The next request, and it is the last request that we've got in the system right now. So, folks, I would love to hear from you either in through the Tiger's Den. You can send me an email again, steve at tfn.com, or the preferred method. I give us a call like Phil did at 877-927-6648. Well, how about that? Hector wants to take a look at Micron as well. So Hector says, happy two for Taco Tuesday. Good. He's got a second one we can look at. And that is MU is being oversold today. Any bottom in sight? So we really covered that. Uh, hopefully you heard that review, uh, Victor. Uh, Hec I'm sorry, Hector. Um, if not, maybe just uh, uh, requeue up in about an hour or so when they get this uh, today's show posted. But your second request for, for Exxon Mobil. So let me get over to my set of charts out here. We can punch that into the system. So XOM is a ticker symbol. Let me get that going on the white background charts as well. And then let's go ahead and read Hector's question, which goes like this. XOM entry point for run into the springtime next year. Uh, okay, well, that's pretty simple. So as we take a look at the Exxon Mobil right now, what we know is price is trading above the top of its daily, weekly profiles. That says, Hector, that your next price target to the upside, unless we see some kind of topping signal on the daily time frame out here, is going to be 64.92. So price is going to have to clear that 64.92 level before that says uh, price is going to move into higher highs into the springtime out there. But let's bring over the white background charts, see what other signals Hector might be able to find here. Well, if we're wondering why price stopped where it did today, it's because it was dealing with its TD9 breakdown level. So even though price was above all those profiles, we certainly do want to know where those TD9 breakdown areas are. They can act as support or resistance out here. In this case, this is resistance. The breakout levels would be the support area. That's down at 41 bucks. We're not there. If price can close above 62.76, then you should be off to the races. Those races, uh, uh, Hector, will take you up to 7136. That's the next TD9 breakdown area out there. Your question was you're looking for an entry point. Hmm. That was the monthly chart. Oh, that's the monthly chart, by the way, that I was looking at. My apology. I thought it was daily. So all of that was referencing the monthly, the weekly chart. Oh, Steve-O, slow down. Okay, so that was the weekly chart that we were looking at, Hector. So 6276, that is a key level that you'd like to see price close above. But as long as price remains above its oscillator and change line on top of the weekly profile in the 5980 area, there's nothing wrong with this. Now let's get to the daily chart out here. Okay, here's the daily. Let's get this thing populated. And what do we have? So you have a TD nine count pattern. So valid TD nine count, that took place on the trading day of October 5th. Even though yesterday's move opened above that price, it never negated the pattern. Price needed to close above that. It did not. That remains in effect. So, Hector, the first level on a daily chart 
that uh, ExxonMobil is signaling to you and I that price is going to go ahead and pull back to that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at about 60.48. The reason we suggest that that's like the outcome is because that oscillator and change line changed colors about two weeks ago, and we know that over time that line and price will catch up to each other, especially happens when that changes color. This took a little bit longer than normal, but that is a likely move. So the question, Hector, becomes should you buy this at 60.48 out there, and should you buy this knowing that your resistance, your key resistance level, was that weekly area at 6276. You have to have a real compelling reason out there, and I would think with regard to ExxonMobil, that compelling, compelling reason is going to have to come from Lightsweet Crude, which uh, right now is still in the November contract. So, you know, we'd really go take a look at that. But you're asking me specifically for a buy point not to, you know, take a look at Lightsweet Crude or anything like that. I'd have to go with 6048. Now, what you'd like to see as price pulls back to that area, should it pull back to that area, you want to come over to your short-term time frame chart and find some kind of bottoming signal. Now, maybe it's not the 30, maybe it's the 65, or maybe it's the 130, or maybe it's the 195 out there, but you want to see those bottoming signals. We don't have those as we speak right now on a 30-minute uh, chart, but that's how you would go ahead and put those things together. The 65-minute chart says, yeah, I want to pull back further, although it's going to form bar number eight right now. Uh, so you could see a short-term bottoming pattern for over the course of the next couple of hours. Um, but uh, the thing is, Lightspeed Crude looks good, but and let me pull over the Lightspeed Crude chart out here. Let me just take a quick peek with you, Hector. And so the daily chart looks good. And de definitely no topping pattern out here. It looks like this wants to continue to move higher on a weekly basis. What do we have out here? I believe we have the same. Bar number seven on a TD9 count. So everything does look pretty good. I'd just rather you get a deeper pullback inside of ExxonMobil. And that deeper pullback would be about 5831. The problem is, Hector, I don't have anything on the charts to suggest that that's what's going to happen. So hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. And you have a terrific uh, Tuesday as well. Let's go out to Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks Hello. for holding. How are you today? Hello, Ron. Continue to move higher on a weekly Ron? basis. What do we have out here? I believe we have. Ron, can you hear me? I can hear you. Ah, Are you there? Yeah, I think we we're picking up the audio in the background, maybe coming off your computer or so. So if you can uh, manage all right, that. All right, I shut that down. Okay. Uh, yeah, no problem at all. So you want to take a look at uh, UNG, the uh, natural oh. gas ETF, I believe. Uh, tell me what you're doing, how I can best help you. Well, I bought a couple calls on the this morning on UNG because it looked like natural gas pulled back and UNG pulled back. Is, is that look like a good move on UNG that uh, I just wondered? Sure. So if I were to only look at the UNG charts, let me pull that up first. I would say, yeah, that's a good move. It looks like a good move to me. And the reason that I would say that is because price pulled back into a bullish structure daily profile. And the bottom of that profile is 1834. Today's low is 1827, traded 1898. So, Ron, if we were just only going to use the UNG chart to make our determination and answer your question, you just answered it. Yeah, that would be a good buy because of being at a bullish structure profile. But do me a favor. Hang on through this break. We'll come back and we'll take a look at the UNG charts, but we're certainly going to go look at natural gas to assist you as well. This is Steve Rhodes with Ron in Denver. We'll be back in about three to four minutes, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Ron in Denver. And, uh, Ron, what I put up on my screen right now for you and I to take a look at is the eight-panel chart for natural gas. That way, you know, you can get a feel for what's going on for multiple time frames. So is that, is that okay as opposed to just looking at UNG? Yeah, but there's no chart there. There should be. Um, you guys in the den, do you see it? By oh, I see. Let me try my other. No, no. I, mean, I, I did it, something. It should, I don't know. It should be on YouTube. No, it should be on YouTube. There should be eight, eight white backgrounds. Oh, now there, Sarah. Okay. okay. There now. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So, well, let's just start from the long term, which is the upper left, and work our way into the short term time frame charts out here. So, on the upper left, here's one thing that we know: natural gas got up to the highs in 2014. That was at six dollars and forty-nine cents out there. There was a shooting star, and oddly enough, that is where price found resistance, really where it should have. So, you know, you've got a long-term resistance level that has been hit. If you ever see price trading above six dollars and forty-nine cents, you know that natural gas is going to take off to the upside and could get uh, quite expensive. On the weekly time frame chart, so we know the price hit resistance and backed off. No topping pattern or anything along those lines, at least not yet. On a weekly chart, you had a, um, you know, maybe there's, sure there's an A to B equal CD pattern that we can find. You did get a, a bearish shooting star candle a couple weeks ago. But price would need to hold below $5.10. That's the current weekly oscillator and change line. So that's important for you because that is an important uh, support level. If you start seeing price trading below $5.10, your UNG trade is probably not, not going to be in a very good position. On okay. the daily time frame, this has a road momentum indicator top. Now, what price did yesterday is it pulled back and it tested the top of that daily profile. So very similar to what UNG did. So at least from a profile standpoint, you have a benchmark, even if you're not taking a look at the natural gas contract, to realize that that's an important level of support. And if price closes below that level inside of UNG, in the case of natural gas, it's $5.38 out there. That's going to then suggest, now it's got to be a close below, not like a spike below that we've seen intraday here, but an actual close below. If price does close below that, then it really sets up the more ideal buy points. And those are more ideal buy points because this is a bullish structured daily profile for the November natural gas contract is between 492 and 507. So I'm not saying, you know, you, you are at a level of support that is held. If price closes below 538, you should expect or anticipate a move to the 492, 507, even 460. Any questions about that so far? No, no. 
Okay. Very clear. So now, Thank you. So now let's move to the 30-minute chart. And the 30-minute chart says that between now, 1.45 in the afternoon, and 2.30, natural gas should take a timeout. And a shave, take a timeout, and price should pull back. The reason that we draw that conclusion is because you have a confirmed TD nine count top. I, I made an error. I said between now and 2.30. It's really between now and 2 p.m. So here's the cool thing that you can use for that trade. This pattern, and that is right now the current high of this session is five dollars and forty five point four seven one. If you see a close above that, that says this pattern has failed, and you have a strong upward momentum move on the thirty-minute time frame. But even if it's on the thirty-minute time frame, that's okay for you because that could take price up to just trying to find it about five seventy-nine. So you're whatever this high is. Are you? Do you have the actual natural gas contract run? I can, uh, I know I don't, but I know where I can find it. Yeah, okay. I can find it. So the price level to watch right now, let's assume that that high holds, is going to be $5.507, $5.507. If you see price, let me just make sure that's what it, yeah, that's it. So if you see price trading above that, you're going to like that for your trade. If not, price is going to pull back, pull back to where? $5.36 is that oscillator and change line right now. That would be the downside target. Uh, now, that price might move up or down, but that's what you would be looking for. And the danger there is that's at 536. And the bottom of that or the top of that week, a daily profile is 5.38. So it's going to be real close here. Um, likely as a signal going into the close uh, today. So I leave you like with this information. Natural gas hits resistance on the monthly backs off. You've got a weekly sell the D point. Nothing has failed. If price closes below 510, that's not going to be good for you. If price fails at 530, you're looking at most likely a move down to the 492 area out here. And that's all I see on the charts. The 60 minute, um, you know, looks pretty good. But I think the 30 minute is the one for you to keep your eye on right now. Don't be surprised if you see a retracement. Super. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Hey, you bet. Ron, uh, thanks for, so much for calling. And have a great day. All right. Let me take a quick peek here, folks, see if there's any other questions that have come in by email. It looks like we do have a few. Um, and it's going to be a struggle probably to get to them all. But let's take a look at one from Joe. Joe wants to take a look at the JNUG out here. That is the junior nugget. That is, I believe, a long position. But let me get it up on the screen out here for the junior miners, JNUG. And let me... Let me switch charts here for you folks. So give me a uh, pages, uh, screens, my screens. So let's get to this screen. And now what I also need to do is I get back to a set of charts that I can go ahead and pull up so that we can do a review of this instrument. This instrument again being JNUG. So JNUG, let's read the question. Can you please look at Junior Nugget? And at what price do you see an entry for a long position? So this is trading at 61.93. Um, I don't know why this is not pulling up, but come on, pull up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. Cancel, cancel. So let's pull over the junior nugget. Now, the junior nugget, Joe, gave you the entry point a week and a half ago or so. It did it with his TD9 count bottom on September 29th. And today is what, the uh, the 12th out here? So that was your bottom signal. Now, I'm not going to suggest that you get into this trade right now because price is taking on its key resistance level. And that's at 61.72. And 61.72 is the TD9 breakdown resistance level. If price closes above that, and it's trading just slightly above it right now, that will be a positive and suggest that price will want to move up. Of course, your question is, well, then where is the entry point? So you'd have to be looking for some type of retracement. And that retracement that you'd be looking for, I would go, Joe, to a short-term time frame chart, such as a 30-minute chart out here, and look for some type of bottoming pattern. We don't have that right now. I wish I could show you what that would look like, but we just don't have that. Um, so I'm going to suggest right now, while price is dealing with resistance, we don't know if it'll clear it or not, is to hold off. Then with regard to if it doesn't clear this level of 61.72, where is your entry area? Short of a pattern on a short-term time frame, I would say look in the 54.68 area. Not that 59.11 can't be 
a uh, support level. That's the top of the daily profile. It's just not the ideal trade setup for you. The better trade setup would be for price to pull back to the oscillator and change line. And of course, then you're going to have to grapple with the fact that price would be moving lower and do you buy it? That's why I say you go to the short term time frame charts, look for that bottoming pattern, and at least that would give you the signals that you're looking for. So I hope that helps you out, Joe, with regard to Junior Nugget. Thanks so much for writing in and your patience. Dennis writes in and he says, what's your outlook for the QQQ for the next month? Well, the QQQs are going to have to answer that question for both you and I, Dennis. And this is what I mean. What do you mean, Steve-O? So as we take a look at the June at the uh, NASDAQ, I'm looking at the NQ, and I know you're asking me about the QQQs, but I just simply have to do it this way. Uh, and we're going to be we're going to take a break here. So when we come back from this break, Dennis. I'll have that question answered for you as best that I can. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So we got five questions in the queue. Don't know that I can get to those in two minutes, but uh, back to Dennis's question. He's asking about what's the outlook uh, for the next uh, month or so. First, uh, Dennis, we are in the favorable seasonal cycle. It typically been, begins right about now. So if things are on track, we should see a market that moves higher into the end of the year. We typically look for bottoming signals in the indices to form that opinion. And on the trading day of October the 5th out here, or 6th, I should say, the NQ generated a bullish hammer candle. That completely the A to B equals CD down pattern. It did it at a rising trend line, and that was a Gartley buy pattern. What price has been unable to do is take out resistance. Resistance is the top of that profile, 14,986. If that outcome of price moving up higher through the uh, end of the year is going to come, we're going to see price close above 14,986.65. The concern there right now is that price is below the bottom of its weekly profile, Dennis, and that's at 14,802. It's only Tuesday, but it closed below that level on Friday, and then next week is going to suggest forget the seasonal cycle there's something else going on because the nq which can drag everything lower would generate for us a signal of a change in trend we do not have that at tuesday at 155 or i'm not willing to make that call we need to let the candle close out its session and that does not come until friday so that's the best that i've got for you You know where resistance is at you also know the concern and i hope that that helps you out thanks so much for writing in the next question coming in from pradeep pradeep wants to take a look at tesla out here so i'll just pull the tesla chart up i'm going to be fairly quick with these uh tesla on a daily basis this looks good wants to continue higher what do you mean good it's trading above the top of its profile and its green oscillator and change line should seek out higher price as we take a look at the weekly chart it too looks good price is above a td9 breakdown resistance this suggests tesla is going to make its way back to its highs out there the last question that i can get to if i can do it in time is to take a look at what facebook for michael facebook right now is uh, not a buy but it does have wave number seven that's letter g and it does have a rose momentum indicator signal in play a bullish reversal candle would confirm a bottom but a real confirmed bottom is a price close above 332. folks stay tuned you've got two more great hours left David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.